if you come from behind, but you see that it's two drops opposed to one game. Definitely. Um, I think the first half, you know, the, the wind was a wee bit of a factor. Um, but we certainly weren't on the front foot enough. And that's what we were emphasising the players with, to make sure we were getting on the second balls, the second half. And as you've seen, the, the first half was quite a, quite a lot of fouls committed. You know, and we felt the boys were taking a bit of a battering. So we just told them to look after themselves, you know, um, and certainly got on the front foot the second half. And they, they did that. And to be fair, I think we, we should have won the game. You know, I think um, when a team come up and they start time racing, Particularly right at the start of the second half, it tells you everything, you know. But no, we go again, um, and fair point to the lads. That's a very young side in there, I and mean, I think you see with the substitutions, you know, young Euro coming on, Scott Adams, uh, two really young boys, and I thought with Euro and Scott were good. Euro in particular, I thought he'd done excellent when he came on. You know, he certainly influenced the game and good couple of deliveries. A great pass into Rory, and for where I was standing, Rory was nowhere near offside. And for some reason, the ref and the linesman decided to, to give an offside. Um, but no, when you consider the players we're missing today, um, well, disappointed not to get three points. But listen, we keep going. Plenty 12 games left. Yeah, plenty of possession in the second half, just couldn't really create too many clear cut openings. Ah, it just wasn't falling for us, you know, and certainly um, sometimes when you're winning games, game after game after game, they just fall in any place. But the boys are having to dig it out now. And I'm sure that I'm sure that'll make them stronger. You know, they will. They'll learn from it. Because as I said, they're really on side. Some of the players on there are very young, very inexperienced. Um, it's just about the coaching staff and the experienced players in the dressing room. You know, help them get through this wee period. Twelve games to go. Um, how do you see it? I mean, Montrose have drawn today as well. I see it in the press. They're there. I'm not interested. In Montrose. Montrose are mean nothing to me. Uh, it's Peter Head I'm interested in. I suppose continuing to be positive, kick on, and that mindset, um, driving the players forward. Um, and I'm sure we can certainly catch Montrose. Put my neck in the light, I'll say it. We will catch Montrose. I believe in every player in there. Um, every single player in there believes in each other. And that's where we are, where we are just now. Uh, the results certainly went away the last wee bit, but I'm more than. More than in my memory, we will definitely kick on. And on Tuesday night, I mean, you've done well against them this season. What do we expect them down there on Tuesday? I would have it's going to be, you know, back to AstroTurf again, which is, for me, it's not a surface that football should be played on, to be honest with you. Um, but we go there, um, we train on Astro, so there'll be no excuses. And certainly we'll look to get a couple of players back for, you know, for Tuesday night. We'll see how Jack is, we'll assess him tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how Jamie Stevenson is, and then we'll get Willie Gibson to come back in. But a couple of that with the young, the young players we've got there just now, you know, certainly we'll have a strong push between now and the end of the season. All right. Thank you. Thank you.